Last Line by John Kimley, a digital story. This digital story will contain information for the content standards for grades 9 through 12 visual and performing arts, specifically researching two periods of sculpture and analyzing a material used by a given artist. Glass blowing has been around for hundreds of years. It was discovered by the Phoenicians sometime around 50 BC and was used by the Egyptians and Romans to create glassware renowned for its beauty. The process hasn't changed much over the years. The tip of the pipe is used to gather molten bash from a crucible within a furnace. The furnace is kept at a constant temperature of over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Once gathered, air is blown into the rod to form a parasol, a small beginning bubble. Color is added to the piece by rolling the hot glass in a frame. Small pieces of colored glass are using various techniques like overlaying the color on the glass already on the rod or applying cane or marine. Once color is applied, more gathers are made to add glass and allow for more colors and patterns to be added. Molds can also be used to add different patterns of ridges and other interesting designs. Here you can see the pattern and the color as a result of marking it with a mold. or the glass bar shapes it with its tools. Diamond shears are used to cut pieces off for five bits and typically an all-purpose tool. The jacks allow them to put creases or lines into the piece and allow them to pull and apply shape. And series are used to pull out certain areas or to assist in creating patterns. Blocks are used to shape the hot glass into spherical round shapes. Finally, layers of newspaper are folded and soaked with water, which allows the gaffer to shave the hot glass by hand. All throughout this process, the glass blower is constantly turning the piece to prevent the hollow grid from falling off the rod. When the piece is finally finished, it can be placed in the annealing oven to cool slowly overnight. This has been my digital story. Thank you for watching.